Hey guys, this is Nate, and this is the Nate or Tater channel. All right, so we're inside my tool cat here. I have a little um, hill here that I'm going to go on and show you how the traction control helps the tool cat out and uh, how bad the tool cat can be under certain situations for getting stuck. Now, this one has the traction control um, option on it. That would turn it off. That would leave it on. So it's on by default um, in the single speed mode. If you go to the second speed, uh, it's always off. So it only works in single speed. But let me drive over here and show you how it works. It's a diagonal split system and it has a brake in there that it will apply a brake um, on that diagonal split so that you can send power to the other diagonal. And it's specifically for this type of event where um, you are crossing a, um, a hill or a ditch and you're at an angle and one diagonal has traction on it, the other diagonal does not have traction on it. So in this case, my right front and my left rear uh, have very little weight on them. And I, I picked the snow, so it was even uh, more slippery. And you can see that it gets stuck without traction control very easily. I click traction control on, and then it's going to have a, a brake um, on that right front left rear and it's going to send more torque to the other diagonal that has uh, grip so it can actually go forward so let me just show you this is the hill it's a drainage ditch on the side of my um, side of my driveway and you can see right now it's actually stuck you know, this is it caked up Okay, here we are in here, and this is me stuck. Um, you can see I like to grab it off and put it in drive. And it just spins. All right, so now we're gonna turn the traction control on. Now it says traction on. Okay, traction's on, now we'll go forward. Okay, there we have it. So turn the traction control on and it made it up. Now it didn't have um, an easy time and you'll see that it actually slips the tires before the traction control system detects the difference in wheel speed and then it applies that brake to send the torque the other way. So it still has trouble, but this is a, a slick slope and then we have a, a hard edge here on the concrete that also helps um, stop its motion. So. Um, it certainly helps, but it is uh, no off-road uh, mudding machine. Also, um, this traction control system started in 2014, I believe, and all of the 5610s have it um, starting that year, and it was an option for the 5600 machine with the uh, dump bed in the back. Uh, before then, they did have some different options with like a, a locking uh, rear differential um, and uh, limited slip differentials uh, this new system is is all electronic and it's a it's a hydraulic brake that drives it so it's not a it's not like a locking diff 